gon' pick it up just like this. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? Quick shift here. As you guys may know, Forza Horizon 2 just released their E3 gameplay trailer. Um, so we're gonna go and analysis, analyze, and now I don't even know how to say that. Um, we're gonna go and try and find a few things that I kind of missed. Um, quick thing about this video is that it's you know it's obviously really cool. Um, just bringing back something from another video. I was kind of iffy on the location, but now that I've actually seen a lot more. Um, it's definitely got a variety of stuff to do from off-roading, drifting, to just regular street racing. It's, it's beautiful. Uh, so if you haven't seen it yet, uh, if you want to see it without commentary, uh, I'll have the, uh, the link of the video, uh, down below. Um, other thing is that I don't know if I'm going to get in trouble for posting this early, so I'm kind of chancing it right now, uh, only because I don't, I've never gotten in trouble with this before. So, I don't really know, like I said, if I'm going to get in trouble with this or not. So, if I do, I'm obviously going to have to take the video down right, right away. I know after the first day, um, you'll be able to post it, but uh, I, I think, I don't know. But anyway, anyways, we're going we're gonna to start this analysis. Is, analysis. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm going to turn this down, actually. Let's keep it up. So here we go, already with a beautiful view of the mountain. Uh, we got ourselves the new Lamborghini, the new 2014 Lamborghini Hurricane kind of sliding on the mountain, or on the side of the mountain. Um, obviously, first thing we spot out is it sliding. Second thing is the water textures once again. Um, the skin marks just kind of making skin marks in the water, and the water kind of splashing up off the other tires. So another good view right here. And that red thing kind of right there. I'm not sure what that is. Anyways, getting onto a perfect view, a cinematic view from the port or the water, the ocean, uh, the ocean to the port uh, of the city. I'm not what I'm not sure what the name of the city is, unfortunately, but um, you know, it's a perfect day and night cycle. It looks beautiful. The water textures are kind of okay. Um, C7 Audi R8. The uh, the Honda the, the Honda the Pagani Zonda and a few other cars I think that red car over there is a Mercedes I'm not too sure another day and night cycle beautiful Austin Martin we got ourselves a uh, oh let's go back just a little bit we got ourselves the Viper I think this is, that's a Camaro um, and the water textures on the car once again looking beautiful. Clouds actually look really nice. McLaren P1, GTR. This is when it starts getting really nice. A GTR R34. This is the one thing I really wanted to point out: is the doors opening. Um, they ended up mentioning in uh, or I ended up mentioning in one of the, one of the other videos that they is that they ended up confirming uh, uh, crews or groups up to 1,000 players. And not only that, but you'll actually be able to uh, to set up crew meets and stuff like that. So maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to get out of our car. Although I don't think we will. I think it'll just kind of be, um, you know, just another thing. Kind of press down on the D-pad or go on our menus. Uh, I don't think that we'll have to go on our menus, though, only because they're actually driving. So probably somewhere down on the D-pad, it'll open up our doors. Maybe our uh, our hoods. Uh, I'm not too sure. But uh, that's, that's definitely a cool add-on. And here we go. Got ourselves an R34, the 370Z in the back, and the is that the BRZ? Yeah, the BRZ. No, that's the, is that the Toyota? I can't see. Just beautiful. They brought the, back the customization. It looks like they copied and pasted it from Forza Horizon, from all the other, not Forza Horizon, but from every other. Well, yeah, from every other Forza. But it's better than having nothing, I guess. So we'll we'll we we we'll have some car customization, which is de better than nothing. Okay, perfect view of the ocean, the flens layers, and 
Just a nice view of the cliff. So we'll be able to go around the mountains, which is cool. Another good view of them sliding. It looks like they have an RX-7 maybe and a 350Z. Like I said, they, they have a variety of stuff to do from off-roading to drifting, in which I'm actually really happy they brought uh, a, a places to drift uh, back into the game. Red Rock was okay. It was actually really good. But this actually looks a lot better, and this probably looks like one of the areas that everyone's going to be sliding at. So it's it, it's it's actually really nice, and the view of the wall in the back, it's, it's really nice. And the, the, the sound of the cars too. I don't. I'm, I'm sorry if I paused it there. I'm going to bring it back a little bit. But the sound of the cars too. They they really nailed it again. And just wait. Let's check out the smoke. The smoke looks a little better. R34, here we go, here comes the off-roading, and the festival too, like I mentioned in the other video, and they mentioned on their forums, or on the uh, the uh, the confirmed info, is they brought the festival back, of course, it's not going to be Forza Horizon without the festival, so we have this back, over 200 cars, which, you know, it's okay, hopefully they have more of a variety of uh, uh, imports, and you know, stuff like that, because I'm a big fan of those. Hopefully they bring back the S13 and 14. I want to see those back in the game. Oh, here we go. All right, Subaru w WRX, Jesus, I cannot talk. And the Mark IV uh, Lancer, I think. And they've open world freedom. We see the title right there, the uh, the, the caption. I don't know if the whole world's going to be open world like this. Maybe we'll be able to go into the mountains, but I think that they'll obviously fence that off because, you know, yeah. But it's nice to see that they have jumps like that. It's pretty cool. Maybe, we, maybe we'll be able to go into the, uh, the mountains. Who knows? Once again, the dirt looks really nice. Planes. Now, I don't know if you guys remember, but in Forza Horizon 1, I don't know if there was more than one... Uh, uh, race, but you were racing a plane, and maybe we'll be racing them again. Who knows? And that's it for the uh, the, the the trailer. Here we go. We have confirmation on the game coming out September 30th. So that's it's not that far away. Then again, that's when most of the games are coming out. Uh, and oh, I didn't see this. Pre-order, exclusive day one edition cars. Nice. Okay, so we got ourselves the Mercedes, the Charger, and a Fiat. No, a Fe Fiesta. Yeah, we got our. Okay. Okay, selection of cars. Uh, I don't know. They're okay though. I think that's it. Yeah, there we go. That's it. Xbox One now starting at three ninety nine. Well, yeah, that's it for the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, if you did, make sure to slap that slap button. That slap button. Make sure to smack that like button. Jesus, I cannot spoke. Subscribe for more content. I I try and post um, information every day. Uh, unless I'm at camp on the weekends, in which this weekend, once again, I'm going to camp. So if there's any information, which I doubt that they have any information coming out, uh, that's, you know... I'll have information, but that's it for this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Make sure to make sure to subscribe for more content. As I, as, I've, as I've said, um, I'm hoping to be able to to expand uh, the community a little more, just to actually be able to play with others. I that was, anyways. Um, smack that like button if you enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you guys around. Take a easy. Peace.